It's the beginning of the school year and I am taking some time to clean my school cello and bass bows. Um, they take some abuse uh, each year and uh, before the school year I wanted to see if I could clean up uh, the bows a little bit, uh, particularly when you get uh, th the hair of the bow at the bottom where the fingers usually hold the bow, it gets a little bit grungy and dingy. And I want to be able to reuse these bows uh, without giving a kid at the beginning of the year a, a brand new, ugly, dirty bow. So um, one of the things that I've done in the last few years, uh, not only is giving each kid their own bow, but I put their name on it. And I have one of these handy label makers, my brother, uh, print out the tape and I cut it and put it on there. Uh, that way, uh, the students have their own bow, and they treat it. I think they treat it a little bit better because it's theirs, and so they're going to make sure they loosen their bow, and they're going to make sure that they're, you know, taking care of it throughout the year. Um, and uh, it's just been a really, really positive thing. So I'm going to show you guys today a, a little bit how I'm cleaning up these bows. Um, again, uh, if you have very fine bows, this may not be the answer. Um, I do not buy uh, exceptionally fine bows for uh, my school instruments. I use a, a pretty decent fiberglass bow, but it's um, kind of a step up. It has a, a, a real a real frog and and it's it's a nice a little bit nicer than uh, your typical fiberglass bow so i'm going to show you how i clean this up so what i've been using is just some um rubbing alcohol uh, denatured alcohol is probably best but i just couldn't find it so i'm using a 91 percent um isopropyl alcohol here and um, i'm going to use an old rag and i'm just going to take uh, this and wet it pretty with a, with a good amount of rubbing alcohol and then i'm going to take uh, this rag between um, between and I'm going to just kind of rub the bow hair back and forth and then I'm going to kind of go side to side as well on here and that way um, I can get in between the hairs a little bit better and you'd be surprised how much it really cleans it up it doesn't take too much um, elbow grease I'm going to keep going here and you may see that it may look like it's turning color um, but it does, obviously it's taking the rosin off too, so you're going to need to re-rosin down here, but really instantly and um, already this looks so much better than it did just a little bit ago. Um, and it didn't very, take very much rubbing alcohol and very much work, but there's a lot of gunk on my rag here and I'm going to keep, keep going down my, my line of bows, which I have a whole bunch of bows that need to be done this way. And uh, when I give the kid their bow at the beginning of the year, uh, they're gonna like it a lot better. You can also just, you know, clean the stick. There's, if there's some uh, rubbing, a little rubbing alcohol on the stick of the bow, you can see I'm getting a lot of that rosin and gook off there. Um, just make it, clean it up a little bit and uh, you'll be a lot happier and so will your students that they have a nice clean bow at the beginning of the school year.